Well, today Prodigy did something that was quite unexpected. They released two mythical epics at one time. On October 1st, we have gotten Griff Topus released, but the funny thing is, they have also released Griff Room, which was the original variant of Griff Topus. Griff Room came first, and Griff Topus is the variant, and they released Griff Room at the same time. Now, this is an amazing idea in my opinion. It gets around the problem of Mythical Epic re-releases by releasing two at a time, and it makes sense to release the same variant, ones that are variants of each other. So now, if you don't have Griff Room, you can get Griff Room alongside Griff Topus. I think that this is an amazing idea, and I hope that it continues to happen so that it can please more people. But of course, obviously, I've already tamed Griff Room, and I am now ready to try to tame Griff Topus. This is one of their coolest mythical epics in my opinion. I love this one very much and I cannot wait to add it to my team. We are starting in Shipwreck Shore, trying to collect four sea bugs. Hopefully I can get better luck than I usually do. We will have to wait and see. So we're going to go and so this new pet encounter update it kind of i haven't done a mythical epic quest with this update yet so i don't really know how it's going to affect some of the things because monsters spawn in such different locations i don't i hope it whoops so yeah that was my mistake i i shouldn't have gone out there i knew there wasn't one just wanted to see what spawn location the monster was going to appear in but it ended up triggering another monster on the way out so that's unfortunate because yes these monsters again that they will they will you can spawn right on a monster that gets annoying when you just enter an area and then immediately go into a monster battle Okay, we still have not gotten one. I don't like our chances so far. It's looking like it's just another one of those hard to get ones that might take a while. Hopefully we can still know. There's still some there's still some left to open, but yeah. We have to go through some monsters that we never had to go through before. And some of them we can skip, but that's less likely. It's more likely that we have to go through a monster that we've never had to go through before, such as in this area right here and the previous area and the one before it. Okay, so we did get a sea bug. This sea bug actually looks really cool. I like the design on it. So that's one out of four sea bugs, and now we have to battle this clip clop. Hopefully we can get the second one from this chest. Yes, there we go. Halfway there, and we still have a couple more that can be opened. So if we get them from this one, do we have to battle this member mimic? I think we do. Yes. If we get a sea bug from this one, then we're good. Not we're good. We're not good yet, but that is three out of four. So we have one opportunity left. It is in the end of Shipwreck Shore. Hopefully it will be worth the battles to get there because I want to complete at least one of the tasks today. I want to be able to like see its attack animation and record a uh, taming battle and all of that. Looks like we're going to have to battle this batter bot. So let's see up here. Looks like we have to battle the crook fang. And can we get the last one? Yes, we can. Our luck completely changed. We got went from getting none to getting all four of them. So now we are going to go trade with Ula. Let's see where she is. She is in Skywatch in this area up here. So let's go and trade our sea bugs with Ula so that we can complete the first taming task. Let's see. Description, a small sea creature that cleans Griff Topus's tentacles. Makes sense. It's a really cool looking bug. I kind of want that as a buddy for some reason. So we have completed the first um, taming thing. We have not done the taming battle, but I will do that after I have attempted the other quests. 
So next we need to collect five coral and that is going to be in Firefly Forest. Again, I really like seeing those four obtainable mythical epics in the pet book. It's never been like that before. We've always only had three, but now there's four in there and we just got our first coral. This coral is the coral that is on Griftopus's back, by the way. And I think it's really cool that there's four in there instead of the usual three. Like I said, I hope that this continues with Prodigy's plans and they make more people happy by releasing and re-releasing a mythical epic at the same time. And there we go, our second coral. This is looking good so far. So yes, like I said, it pleases more people to have one be released a new one and one old one be re-released because people can get both or one but they don't have none to get they can they at least have one that they can get and now we have three of our five coral again i'm really liking these chances so far let's see if we can avoid battles up here how much we can avoid Okay, we still did not get another one. We have a few more tries, though. We have plenty of other attempts. Let's go down here. Can we avoid this? Yes, but we cannot avoid that. Or that. Um, still nothing. We need to go back up now. Oh, come on. So, yes. Again, there are some things that are just unable to be avoided, which is unfortunate, but that's what you get when you have random monster spawning locations. Okay, so there is our fourth coral. We have two chances to get it. I think we can do it. Let's see what we can get up here. Can we get, can we get it from these dandelions? Yes, we got our final coral. Let's go trade them with Ula. So this is the first time in quite a while I think I have received, well, finished two of the quests in just at this, in one day. I think it usually takes more time than that. The coral description is ancient coral that can be... Okay, I did not read it. I went through it too fast. My bad. But as I was saying, my luck is usually much worse and I end up not completing any or just one of them during my time on the first attempt but now we are going for the ink splats in skywatch so let's see if we can get around this monster what was that apparently we cannot get around it that was weird anyway we got nothing natural i'm pretty used to that it's become quite a common occurrence over the past nearly two years since mythical epics have started and i've gotten every single one of them so there have definitely been ups and downs definitely good luck times and bad luck times but i think some of these other monsters we can skip um i think that some of them are strategically placed so that i can get through them I appreciate that, Prodigy. Yes, like right here, I can get through this one. And I don't have to do any battle here. So, still nothing, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get one after doing this battle. And can this heart balloon provide? Yes, the heart balloon does provide, and we get our first ink splat. I think this is the task I am not going to finish. I don't anticipate getting this five more from the remaining openables i don't even think there are five more openables left to open no there aren't i think i don't think we have enough opportunities left we could well yeah we, we aren't get really like i said that happens kind of often now let's see hopefully we can get one from here i really want to get at least two I would like to get three. Okay, we did get two, that's nice. I would like to get at least half though, unfortunately. It doesn't seem like we are going to be able to do that. There is, come on. There's really only one openable left and I don't see, well, we can't get over half. 
Hopefully these battles are going to be worth it. I have a feeling they are not going to be worth it. Don't think I'm going to get one from this, but you gotta get, you gotta keep your high hopes. And let's see. Yeah, just like, like I expected, we didn't get any. Well, that's unfortunate, but we have two taming battles that we can now do. Okay, so let's go and find Griff Topis. I'm excited to do this battle. So I believe it is going to be in Shipwreck Shore, of course. And I still really like the Pumpkin Fest map change. It looks really cool to see the map be a bit different when it comes to Lamplight Town and Pumpkin Fest. So it looks like we will probably have to do a battle against a Browl first. Yes. And now we are ready to go against Griff Topis. It looks so cool just standing there, the idle animation with the bubbles coming up from the ground like the grass comes up with Griff Room. So yes, I like how Prodigy actually made these mythical epic taming battles more like boss battles. Not necessarily more, they're not, well, unfortunately Plushkin missed there, but I do wish that, uh, well, I don't even know what I'm saying. I prefer that they are more like boss battles because they have more hearts than the pet does during normal battle when you tame it because that just makes it harder to tame. And I think that that is good because it was quite easy to finish the taming battle previously. And right now I'm having a little bit of trouble. I used the wrong pets. For the next taming battle, I'm going to have to use um, storm pets. We just lost Plushkin. It's only at level 90 anyway. So we just need to finish casting spells against it. Then I'll find some storm pets to use for the second taming battle. And then Later, we will be able to do the third one whenever I actually finish those ink splat quests. And I will be able to upload part two of this video, and I will have Griff Topis. So let's finish this battle off with an all-out attack. Always a nice move to use at the end of a battle. And there we go, the first taming battle is complete. And we can open our chest, get some gold, and say that we have completed Griff Topus' first taming battle. And we have one more that we can do now. So let's go ahead and do the second taming battle while that Browl is not there anymore. Let's go ahead and quickly do it. Because they don't respawn, as far as I know, the respawning is still weird. But yeah, I switched to some storm pets, Nebulite and Mystique. They'll have some powerful storm spells that I can use. This is the team that I used on the Water Titan when I was um, trying to get all those Titan sets, which I did succeed in doing. I have a video out about that if you want to know more. But this will take less turns than the previous battle because I have some storm spells that will do a lot of damage to Griff Topus and have done a lot of damage. So we don't have much longer left in the battle. Mystique might finish it off. Yes, I, there wasn't even a question. 789 damage. Yes, that was a lot quicker of a battle. I'll have to do the same thing for the third taming battle so, we have done all that we can do on getting Griff Topus today. I will be back soon when I, the openables respawn and I can try to get the last of those ink splats, the last four. And what do you think about Prodigy's newest mythical epic, Griff Topus? And what do you think about them also re-releasing Griff Room at the same time? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.